a goal of mine that has been driving me ever since middle school, I want to say. So about four, five, six, seven years almost has been the goal to die a legend. That when people hear the name Rocco Lacerdo, they'll say, of course I know who that is. And when people don't know the name Rocco Lacerdo, people are shocked. They're like, oh, you don't know who Rocco Lacerdo is? What? I don't know why. I don't know where that goal came from up until recently. I realized that that goal is just because I'm afraid of death. And I realize that we're all afraid of death. We all are. Those who hermitize and don't want to go out and take chances and take risks, obviously they're afraid of death. But even the people that are risk takers and challenge themselves and do death defying stunts, even those people are afraid of death. Because if you think about it, those people, they go out and they build great structures, they take on big businesses, they do great stunts that live on in history forever. They are immortalizing themselves. And even though they won't admit it, subconsciously, it's because they want to live on in other people's memories. Even the people that are extremely social and brave, just to be able to say what they want to say to people, those people immortalize themselves in other people's memories. Because they will live on in those people's memories. They will live on in stories of that one crazy guy that just said whatever the fuck he wanted to say. We as a human race are afraid of death. Whether you believe it or not, that's your decision. It's just what I believe. I know I am. I'm immortalizing myself in these videos. I'm immortalizing myself in my writings. I'm immortalizing myself in all the people that I talk to. It's okay to be afraid of death, though. It's okay to acknowledge the value of life. Because that's all it is. You know how valuable life is. And you don't want to give it up. So why not experience life in your own way, immortalizing yourself?